So you're trying to inject Iris Hat Client. And every time you click on inject, it'll just say that the process has been found. However, that the final path is invalid. And today I'm going to tell you exactly why this is happening and how you can fix this. Yeah, so basically, why is it happening? Well, you can see the name of the Iris DLL slightly here. Oh, now you can see it fully. This is the DLL for 1.20.0. And as you can see, my game version is 1.20.10. Now, at the time of recording this video, Minecraft updated to 1.20.10 only a few hours ago, which means that there is no new DLL file for you to inject. So, Iris is basically just outdated and what this means is that every time you click on inject here it'll either tell you this error or minecraft is just going to crash and now obviously that's something you don't want happening right so how do you fix this you may ask well there are a few options for you the first one is something you can do to, to prevent this issue in the future that is to go into the microsoft store or wherever you get your minecraft and to turn off automatic updates what this is going to allow you to do is, for example, when 1.20.20 comes out and Iris is going to break again, um, then what you can basically do is not update Minecraft. Yeah, and then when Iris 1.20.20, for 1.20.20, for example, does come out, um, then you can go ahead and manually update Minecraft. Yeah, so you can always just stay on the same version as uh, as whatever uh, client you want to use and uh, you might be wondering well how do i know when iris actually updates or when minecraft updates well i cover both of those things i make a video the second that iris client updates and i also make one every single time minecraft updates so you know um it would be cool if you subscribed and hit the bell because you'll get notified the second that iris updates to the latest version of minecraft as well as when Minecraft updates and Iris or other hacked clients are going to break. Anyways, obviously that isn't really a solution for right now. However, I do actually have one. It's a bit more complicated, but basically you can use a program called Bedrock Launcher, which is like the Minecraft Java Edition Launcher, but then for Bedrock Edition. And basically what that's going to allow you to do is just like in Minecraft Java Edition, backport minecraft and go back versions yeah so that is uh, definitely pretty cool and then what that's going to allow you to do is just to go to minecraft 1.20.0 or 1.20.1 and um you know use iris because iris does work for those versions now also there's been a lot of confusion around the fact that 1.20.10 and 1.20.1 are in fact completely different versions. Um, all hat clients for Bedrock Edition work for 1.20.1, but not for 1.20.10. So that's something to take note of. Anyways, basically that was it for right now. Um, if you want to learn about more about Iris Hat Client, I will link some more videos. I have on that in the description. However, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye.